M0 FXP welcome back to my videos learning the Herms Light 2 and today we've got the micro PA50 amplifier connected to it just using a patch lead that simple so I'm just going to quickly show you how the power can be increased so we're on 18 megahertz here and we're going to transmit and have a look at the top right just near my head there you'll see the transmit watts which is about 3 watts and then you'll see on the micro PA50 what wattage the amplifier is is transmitting so let's just quick test with the tune button here we are connected to my antenna we could use a dummy low but just a quick one here m0 fxb test 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 m0 fxb test 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 and you can see there we we're doing about 17 watts and if we increase the drive and we'll just do that again make sure you can see everything quick tune M0 FXB test 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 and look we're up to 35 watts and the SWR is 1.7 now we're not using a tuner although we're using the tune you know selection because the antenna is cut to the right size it's 49 to 1 ballon and 66 foot length of wire so look at that we've got this Herms light you can see how fantastic the Herms light is if I just switch across now see if we get some activity on 40 meters just flick across here 40 and then we'll go to LSB and to get the audio so we can hear it let's just turn this up we'll go to setup enable apply find some activity turn up the volume it's not very busy it's very hit and miss but it's quite late at night let's try 20 so we just click 20 USB sometimes we do get activity at this time it, now what I'm finding with the PA50 is that the SWR trigger um, is a bit it's a bit sensitive and I, I don't know how to turn that off with this with the firm, the current firmware which is I think it's 2.8.8 .8 on the PA50 but I'm going to update it but if I quickly tune we'll get the p8 the drive down low i don't want to push my luck quick tune and there you can see it's tripped the um the alarm which is very good because it means it's protecting your device if i get the drive right down low try again no it's, it's not doing it but that's fine uh, I've, sh I've shown you how once we once we can turn off that very sensitive um you know trip and also make sure that our SWR is good then I think we're gonna have great fun with this device we can add different meters if you go set up remember to transmit you need to enable the PA once you've done that it will transmit and your audio just enable the VAC1 as well which we've got here and you'll start to hear make sure you apply it click OK and see it's got overload here you just go to attenuator minus 10 and then you're going to tune through. You can type the frequency, scroll. You can move, you know, move around. It's just there's so much you can do with this, and look how beautiful it is. And you can change the skin. Go set up, go to this appearance, choose a different skin. And I've got loads here. Camouflage. This is a special one, apparently. There you go. This one's quite popular actually. And we've got the steampunk. There's Batman ones, there's all kinds of ones. Dark Metal, we'll leave it as that for now. Thanks for watching my videos. Oh yeah, a quick one with adding meters. You just go Setup, Appearance, Multimeters, and then add one as Adrian Multimeter. Add that, and there it is there. Can we open it up? If you go to the top, I know you can move it around by highlighting the gray. How do we make the meter actually open up fully? Do we? Must be a way. It'll be something really silly, won't it? <laughs> and then let's just quickly tune. You see that? Bye for now. Having great fun. 7 3, all the best. 